Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado this generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you need to find where the transmission fuses are located, which fuses you need to check, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff, guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free. Now, guys, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so which fuses you need to check for the transmission we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Silverado right here by the way if you guys have one of those you have hidden fuse boxes all over this track we will recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chevy Silverado what you guys need to do open the hood and once you open the hood on the driver's side we have easy to access fuse box under that cover open the cover and you will find the fuse box with a layout like that one for 2014 through 16 models and layout like this one for 2017 through 19 models before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below now guys quick thing if you need to buy fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste money and time so guys now we'll demonstrate on 2014 through 16 models first please make sure you stand till the end we want to give you one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys so now there will be differences 2014 through 16 model if we zoom in and we come in that section right here guys you see that uh, relay here under the relay the second fuse that's known as fuse number 40 that's the one that you need to check and then you need to check guys fuse number 58 it's a double fuse micro 3 fuse we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy it from now if you have a 2017 through 19 that will be still fuse number 40 that you need to check but next you need to check fuse number 57 instead of 58 but the location will be the same just the number of the fuse will be different but those are guys for the transmission transmission control module also known as tcu or tcm fuses now guys you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that chevy silverado you have different fuses relays that could be really hard to find especially if you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, one time we needed a replacement one we couldn't get one we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that so what we do now we always get some spare fuses relays keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind guys that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time.